Uh, welcome, Brayden. So, what have you been watching? What should we be watching this week? Well, obviously, the Richie McCaw film, mm -hmm. which I know you guys are talking to the filmmakers a little later on. Yep. It's a must see, even if you're not a sports fan. Uh, but David Brent is back. Ricky Gervais, uh, David Brent, A Life on the Road. I have to say, his humour is a little bit like nails on a blackboard for me. I struggle a little bit. I do that thing where you sit there going, uh, I'm not so sure about this. I'm so pleased you said that because people give me a hard time about not liking him, but sometimes it's, for me it's hit and miss. But I've got to admit, yep. I saw an interview with him about this movie you're talking about, and I thought, okay, cool, I might go and see that. Looks I think right. he as a person is brilliant mm. in the things that he stands up for. He's back with all that awkward humour, though. Have a wee look at this. Excuse me, can we have the bill, please? Oh, shall I put it on your room? Rooms? Oh. We're not. Separate rooms. So you want separate bills? No, no, no. Put it on my room. 106, but know that we're not, I wouldn't, not with him. And not because he's a black man, because he's a man. I'd do it with a black woman, for example. Not you. Well, yes, you, yeah. If you were consenting, <laughs> you see, the thing is, I've seen this movie, and the first, the first maybe two or three minutes, you're going, oh, but then you're going like, oh, this is funny. Oh, it's it's just it. so awkward and so wrong in many, many ways that you yeah. just got to laugh. Yeah. And I had no idea that he actually was a pop star back in his day, wasn't he? Well, I don't know about pop star. He gave it a shot, though. His songs, <laughs> are amazing. His songs in the show are amazing. They're really good. Oh, good work. Uh, okay, what else? And something completely different. This is currently number four on the Apple charts, and you know, I, I've got big love for Tony Collette. I think she's fantastic. Right back to Muriel's wedding. Uh, Drew Barrymore's in this one as well, and it's called Miss You Already. Basically, you've got one character who is facing cancer treatment, chemotherapy, the other who is trying to have children. Uh, and this is actually where Tony explains to her children what goes on during chemo. The medicine is like an army of soldiers, and they all march into mummy's body. Left, right, left, right, right. Now, chemo soldiers, they shoot the bad cancer out. <laughs> I want chemotherapy! <laughs> but these soldiers are a bit rubbish, so they also shoot parts of Mummy's body that aren't poorly, and this makes Mummy feel ill. And just to be very, very safe, the soldiers might zap out all of Mummy's big hair. I really like the way that's explained. Mm. It's really it's, nice. Um, I've seen that movie, and it takes... I'm quite hard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, quite we hard. know. We know. Are you going to say it made you cry? I, I cried. I snot cried. Oh. It was that emotional. It's just, it's a really nice movie though. It's really wonderful, yeah. but you do have to take a whole, well, you have to watch and take it with a big box of tissues because, oh, it's, it's heart wrenching. It's I'm, another yeah. one of those ones, you know, we talk about people voting with, with the remote, downloading yeah. it, and that's right. why it's got to number four with the open mouth sobbing from you. <gasps> oh, yeah, that, that's a nice way of putting what I call snot crying. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Hey, thank you so much, Braden. Always no pleasure having you in here. Or a bit of a snot grind. <laughs> 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 Great, keep up to date.